Hello friends, today's topic is types of noise which comes under unit noise effects in communication system as we have also studied this in last lecture we just have touched the types of noises now here we we will do it in just more details from the previous video now noise as we all know noise is an unwanted signal which is not desired in any communication system so let's see its type it's, it is broadly divided into it external form and internal form it is also called as external noise and internal noise now the external noise are those noises which are generated outside the receiver or an amplifier remember external noise are those noises which are generated outside the receiver or an amplifier generally the definition of internal noise is internal noise is that type of noise which is generated within the receiver itself so external noise as the name suggests outside the receiver and internal noise as the name suggests within the receiver of an amplifier so let's quickly look into its types external noise is further divided into majorly divided into three noises the first is atmospheric noise the second is extraterrestrial noise the third one is industrial noise and further the internal noise is also divided in majorly into three parts that is register noise short noise and transient time noise so let's see one by one each of them first is external noise external noise first form is atmospheric noise atmospheric noise where it is generated now how does it affects in our communication system so let's see this first atmospheric noise is a static kind of noise which is generated due to natural electric disturbances as we see during rainy days there is a thunderstorm and that kind of thunderstorm produces electrical disturbances in the air and this electrical disturbances cause our communication channel and it affects our signal in a communication channel hence this type of noises arises and which affects in a communication system is known as atmospheric noises now let's move on to extraterrestrial noises extraterrestrial noise generally we see everyone see sun and stars sun the noise arises due to sun due to very high temperature of around 6000 degrees celsius is known as solar noise and cosmic noise is also the same form of noise but it is occurs due to stars means the area over which cosmic noise affects most is around 20 megahertz to 120 megahertz in a communication channel so extraterrestrial noise is divided into further into two parts that is due to solar and due to cosmic noises now further moving on into industrial noise industrial noise is a kind of noise which is generated within the industry these are man basically a man-made noise it occurs in the range of 1 megahertz to 600 megahertz and it is due to as we have said it is a man-made noise it occurs due to automobile aircraft moving over the air switching equipments or heavy machinery which generate a noises this type of noise is known as industry noise or industrial noise so what we have studied is external noise its types and how does it occurs now let's move on to internal noise internal noise which is generated within the receiver so the first type of noise which comes under this is a register noise register noise because every component having whether it is amplifier or receiver or any electronic equipment having a resistance so the first is register noise the noise generated within the register with the register in an electronic circuit is known as register noise now we will see register noise in great detail with also some definitions and derivations also 
now let's move on to short noise short noise is it is let's see the definition first it is caused by random variation in the arrival of electrons at the output of electrode of an amplifying device and appears as a randomly varying current superimposed on the output so it is basically a short noise for all devices with the exceptions of diode the short noise formula used generally to simplify for a diode is exactly given as i n equals to under root of 2 e i p into bandwidth so basically what is i here i is the rms short noise it is root mean square value of short noise in the form of current so it is a rms short noise current what is e here e is the charge of an electron e is a charge of an electron so its value is given as 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb what is ip here ip is direct diode current direct diode current the third is b what is b b is the bandwidth over which the signal is received so it is bandwidth of the system so this formula is very important regarding when we are covering a short noise now we take it as a transient time noise transient time noise it is generally occurs in an amplifier so let's see quickly the derivation and the definitions of transient time noise it is the time taken by electron to travel from emitter to the collector of a transistor so time taken by electron to travel from emitter to the collector of a transistor it's it is significant when the signal being amplified at the frequency in a high frequency and beyond so friends we have all we have discussed the noise the types of noise now apart from internal and external noise there is also some form of noises which are not described and that is known as miscellaneous noise so miscellaneous noise we can just uh, write it here is other form as a miscellaneous noise a miscellaneous noise miscellaneous noise are those noise which are not covered in internal and external noise so these may be also categorized as as we seen in televisions at the receiver when we watch television sometimes a black and white spots coming on the screen that type of noise is known as flicker noise further the noise is in mixture as we all know that it is a non-linear device and due to mixture mixer is also a non linear amplifying circuit hence the noise is generated within the receiver is amplified and again amplified and again amplified in a amplifier and this type of noises is known as noise is in mixtures noise in mixtures so friends this is also an important part we should cover by studying inter external internal noise as well as miscellaneous noise so friends thanks for watching this please subscribe our analog techie channel for more videos to be uploaded thank you